Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Kava Sewer here, coming at you from San Diego, California. And today I am uh, here to do a review of something uh, that uh, is exciting, different, and uh, helps uh, it kind of expand the Kava Sewer website and kind of what the vision of the Kava Sewer website is. And that is, I am going to be doing a review of Drumroll Yerba Mate. <laughs> so you might be asking yourself, uh, Kava Sewer talking about Yerba Mate? What's the deal? Well, the Yerba Mate is the yin to my yang. And the yang is the Kava and the Yerba Mate is the yin. Okay, that's about as creative as I'm going to get here. But um, all of this is to say that uh, I love Yerba Mate. I've been drinking it for a while now. Um, and I've been going through different kinds of Yerba Mate, getting excited about different kinds of Yerba Mate. And um, I drank a lot of like the standard ones, the Cruz Azules, the Rosamontes, the Guayaquis. Um, and uh, if none of those are familiar to you, then um, I have some good news for you. Uh, you'll be seeing some reviews of those on my website too. So now in addition to the Cavas, you're gonna be seeing some Mate reviews. Um, though I am still the Cava Sewer, I'm not the Mate Sewer um, uh, yet, anyways. Um, uh, unless I kind of split into two different things, which I don't plan on doing. Um, I think the Cava Sewer website has, uh, you know, room for talking about other things as well. Um, but uh, today, I am so excited uh, to be talking about this Yerba Mate. It is a CBSA, or Sebesa, or... I have no idea how to pronounce it, but this is a um, yerba mate that comes from a, I believe it's um, ah, Argentina. Okay, it was going to be either Argentina, Uruguay, or Paraguay. Those are kind of the only three, uh, the only, no, sorry, four. Argentina, Paraguay, Uruguay, Brazil, maybe? Uh, anyways, there's not many places to grow and consume yerba mate. It's a subtropical... Uh, tea. Um, and for more information on Yerba Mate, please do um, go back into my video history. You will find uh, that I did a, uh, a a quick kind of discussion of Yerba Mate uh, just about six to seven months ago. But anyways, um, Cebesa or CBSE or whatever um, the pronunciation of this is, uh, is a, um, a, a brand of Yerba Mate and they make different kinds of Yerba Mate. Um, and I have tried... Uh, one that is like a uh, naranja, like an orange uh, flavored yerba mate. And then I've tried their kind of standard, uh, their kind of standard non-flavored yerba mate. But this yerba mate is um, uh, with guarana berries. And um, I've had a lot of uh, people um, recommend this to me. And uh, I'll put a link for it on, on, to, to Amazon.com. It's um, only about... Ten dollars for a half kilo of this, and um, it's a yerba mate. By the way, is just ridiculously cheap and an incredible value because uh, you can buy a bag of yerba mate like this, and it's gonna last you like two or three weeks if you drink it every single day, which I do. I drink like two big cups of yerba mate every day. Um, so what you need to uh, make your yerba mate is you need your um, they, they, this is like a, uh, a, traditionally you would drink it in a gourd, but this is um, like a, a um, cup made by this uh, brand called Balebitov, Balebitov. And um, it comes with this kind of straw. And what you do is you put the yerba mate inside and you kind of pack it up against the inside and then you put the straw in and you rest it and you pour the water over it. Um, and um, it's very important to, to uh, prepare it the right way or else you get like a lot of leaves in, in, the, uh, in the straw itself while you're drinking the yerba mate. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna um, get back to you. Bula, Bula? Hmm. All right, so normally what you do is when you pour the, the mate in, you kind of hold the, the gourd like this, and then you just kind of pour it in. And then um, it kind of gets packed in against the side of the gourd, 
Um, so, like this. Um, and then, and then still, you still kind of hold it so that all the mate is against one side of the gourd, and then you put this straw in so that it's like resting on top of the mate, um, like this. And then um, what you do is you pour your hot water while it's still resting against the side of the gourd, you pour the hot water inside and um, you basically want the water to build up against the wall of the mate and and then you're gonna just kind of get it up and then let it sit there for like you know 10 or 15 minutes well no that's ridiculous like five minutes um and, and sometimes what i'll do is i'll actually add a little bit a little bit of cold water um um i'll add a little bit of cold water to the surface uh just to like cool it down a little bit um because your mate when you when you when you make it fresh it's like incredibly hot you want to use well not incredibly hot you want to use like kind of water that's almost boiling and um you want it to be hot enough to to, to brew the tea but um there's something about using water that's too hot that kind of that can kind of kill some of the three theobromine and some of the active components of the yerba mate. So you want to be kind of careful with how hot the water is, but then you add the cold water to, to get it to um, a, uh, a temperature that won't burn your mouth because, you know, obviously you don't want to burn your mouth um, unless you do. That's, you know, hey, look, no judgment. Um, so, um, all right, so I'm going to like let this sit here and I'm going um, to add some cool water and then I'm going to do a taste profile. Um, with these yerba mate reviews, I'm not going to focus as much on the effects, although this one in particular, I might want to to give some discussion or have some discussion about the effects because it has guarana in it. Um, and anyways, let me finish making this and then I'm going to explain to you what yerba mate feels like, what this yerba mate feels like, and um, kind of what you get out of yerba mate as a medicinal uh, tea, herb, daily, um, supplement, food, etc., etc. All right. Bula. Bula. All right. So I've made the tea here from this, um, CBSE Yerba Mate Gorana. Um, and again, uh, this is a bit of an unusual, um, Yerba Mate and an interesting one to start out with because, um, it's uh, cool and something different from just like your Rosamontes or your Cruz de Maltas, though I will still be reviewing those. And um, those do kind of uh, represent the standard Yerba Mate that people kind of go for. Um, and those are really popular in their countries of origin. I think both of those are from Argentina um, and they're both really good, but I wanted to start off with something kind of different. And uh, just to... Um, kind of give you some um, more background on this. It is yerba mate with, made with stems, herbs of the yerba mate plant, dry extract of guarana flavored with menthol. Um, and so yerba mate, penny royal, kidron, dry extract of guarana, guarana flavor and menthol flavor. Um, and again, coming from um, Argentina, imported through Florida, which, uh, another kava connection. Um, <laughs> so, um, so I want to talk a little bit about matin. Matin is the active, uh, uh, stimulant in yerba mate that is, um, similar in, in nature to caffeine, but yerba mate has, um, the matin, again, similar to caffeine. It has theobromine and it has, uh, some amino acids that kind of, uh, uh, are nourishing and give you kind of a, a good positive energy. Um, and yerba mate um, is not, uh, it, it's a little bit weaker than coffee. Um, people people say that it's a bit weaker than coffee, but stronger than tea. So kind of somewhere between, you know, a cup of, of, of yellow tea and a cup of coffee. Um, that being said, again, you know, the active, uh, the active matin is a little bit different from caffeine. And um, 
so what does that mean? So it means, you know, when you drink a cup of coffee in the morning to start off your day, it uh, it's kind of meant to wake you up, you know, kind of get you going, get you alert, get you focused. Yerba Mate um, <clears throat> serves that role, uh, but it kind of works a little bit slower, um, but it lasts a lot longer. So for me, when I drink Yerba Mate, I'll wake up, um, I have to wake up here at like 5.30, uh, I make my yerba mate before I, you know, jump in the shower and do all that stuff. And um, usually after 30 to 40 minutes of sipping the yerba mate, I'm really kind of awake and I'm engaged in my work and I'm ready to go. Um, but it's not like a coffee where you just, you know, you make your coffee and you kind of try to drink it back as fast as you can just to get the effects. Yerba mate, you kind of more sit there and you, you know, you sip on it. Um, and um, you kind of add water to your um, gourd as you drink the yerba mate, you add water basically until the yerba mate becomes too weak and, and it kind of, you, get a, you get a watery flavor, a watered down tea flavor. All right, so um, I usually drink the yerba mate um, for about, uh, I, I usually fill it after about two or three hours. Again, I add more water. Um, and then usually by the end of the workday, I've had maybe two to three gore, uh, servings of yerba mate. And again, I mean, one of those bags you can drink for about two weeks uh, drinking at that rate. So that's a pretty, pretty damn good deal. Um, you know, compared to coffee, definitely compared to kava, but again, comparing kava to yerba mate is not um, really even, uh, it's, it's, it's completely irrational. It's the ying to the yang. All right, so I wanna do a quick flavor test here. This is my first time doing the CBSC Gorana. Mmm. I did kind of cheat a little bit and I looked at um, some of the reviews of this and a lot of people describe it as like a raspberry flavor. So Yerba Mate is a kind of very acidic, earthy tea with a lot of kind of alkaline, astringent kind of flavors in it. And it really kind of um, dominates your palate and makes your whole mouth kind of tingle with this, um, not in a kava way, but tingle with this kind of acidity. Um, uh, but like, it's a very strong, a very strong flavor. Uh, there's a maltiness to it. There's an earthiness to it, a smokiness to it. Um, and with the CBSEs, I've had the Naranja and now the Garana, they both bring in like these fruit elements. Um, and the Garana, um, I would say, rather than describing it as a raspberry flavor, um, I would say this is almost more of like a bubble, like a pink bubblegum kind of flavor, a traditional bubblegum kind of flavor. So very nice, uh, actually really nice um, flavor. And from what I've heard, that Garana extract in the Yerba Mate also gives it like a little bit more energy, a little bit more of like a brightness uh, and puts more kind of spring in your step. So very good flavor um hmm. i mean really um this is like slightly better than the orange flavored cbse that i um just finished and i'll do a review of that later but really good i mean excellent stuff um i'll put some notes in the the comments of the youtube video and under the video on the kava sewer website about the um, kind of lingering effects. And I'll go ahead and start giving these ratings and I'll create a system TBD um, after this video to try to, to rank these Yerba Mates. But this is a really good one. I'm looking forward to, you know, sitting back with this, reading a book um, this afternoon and then, you know, having some dinner later and then doing the kava thing after that. To the hula. Kavasu are out.